Hi, it is Dr. Sharon. Let's see who's on. Anybody on yet? I'll wait till I get the first one on before I start talking. I'm doing a Facebook Live answering literally in the last 24 hours. Hi, Monique. In the last 24 hours, I have literally received, hi Carla Lewis, I have literally received well over 150 questions um, from many of the ladies that attended a session this weekend and my regular uh, kind of followers who wanted to uh, ask me about what specifically, y'all know y'all ask me all the time about what vitamins I recommend and then I have introduced, hi Rod Allison, brother Rod, have introduced the Dr. Sharon um, essential kit for women that we talked about this weekend. So I'm, this is going to be quick. I hope less than five. If you have questions, please post them now. I have made it back to my home state of Maryland, um, where I live now, from my home home state where I grew up in North Carolina and was so fortunate to be with the beautiful first and the finest ladies of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated, the Mid-Atlantic region, which I think is over 140 some chapters uh, in North Carolina and the Commonwealth of Virginia. Hi, Clint. Hi, Shirley. And so literally I just made it back and saw my messenger and all of that. And I wanted to just take the time to say thank you to Jennifer King Congleton for having me. We had a ball. Uh, I, I did a workshop, which you can look on my timeline and see, in at the Mid-Atlantic Conference, which had over 3,000 registrants. You all did it. I mean, it was pink and green all over Raleigh. It was amazing. And, um, but I was very honored to present, and certainly the workshop was standing room only, which is always humbling because I'm talking about health and wellness, mind, body, soul, all of that. And women, I think, are thirsty for it. And the overwhelming response, and, and I do mean this from the bottom of my heart, the overwhelming response of those that were participants in the workshop, but also those that <laughs> heard about it and um, stopped me and we talked and uh, and all of that. And then last night's gala, which was absolutely beautiful. I probably shouldn't have worn them six inch heels to both the workshop and then change and went into another six inch heel that night. The old girl ain't what she used to be, even though I'm 35 again. Woo, yeah, some shoes you supposed to walk in and sit down. Mm -hmm. But anyway, that's a sidebar. So quick hit. This is going to be quick. Um, I've got numerous questions because I do talk about medicine, and alternative medicine, alternative treatments. And I talk about some essentials that you need, both men and women, um, for health. And y'all know if you follow me on many of my videos, and y'all go look at YouTube. There's a Dr. Sharon Allison Adi YouTube channel that we need to work on more subscribers, but y'all watch it on Facebook Live and then you don't have to go to YouTube. And all of my videos are also saved on Facebook Live, but every talk that I give, I don't care if it's even the corporate America, if I'm talking about health, I always talk about things that you need. So every, the number one question I get, two questions I get when I talk to women. One is what vitamins to take and all that. Two, uh, menopause. I get menopause everywhere. So, this is Sunday evening. I've just driven back myself. I probably should have had somebody drive me. I'm exhausted. But I want to make sure that I, I honor the momentum coming out of a fabulous uh, time um, uh, at the regional conference in North Carolina of Alpha Kappa Alpha. And to answer what I know a lot of you want to know and I like to reiterate. So, here we go, quickly. Um, to recharge, and I'm going to put the vitamins at the end. If you've had a busy weekend or a busy week, it is so important to recharge. So ladies and men that do wear makeup or whatever, um, you will notice that, look, I have a, no makeup on except for some lip balm that's very sticky. So you see the stuff on my mouth is actually a lip mask to rehydrate and all of that with a little bit of, um, 
tint. That is literally it beside moisturizer. Hi, Sora Latissa. Um, and after, for me, a busy time, and especially if I'm speaking or making an appearance or doing something like that, and I've done, you know, makeup to do that, you like to give your skin time to breathe. So driving back, literally, I did a facial scrub this morning, moisturizer, no mascara, no anything, the same way the Lord let me come into this earth. Uh, in the face is the way I uh, presented myself today because you need to give yourself time for your skin to breathe. Did some moisturizer and sunscreen. That's it. And again, a lip mask, which is a heavy um, moisturizing uh, mask for the lips that often looks like chapstick, so it's a little sticky. That's it. No heat in the hair. So if you say my hair crazy, don't inbox me. It's because there's no heat in the hair today. There's no need uh, because I was driving. And the other part is that needs to give, you need to get hot. Oh, thank you, Vernestine. Hi, Sora. I was with AKs this weekend. Um, you need to give yourself time to relax. And even driving back, I listen to music. I listen to some of the news and then I stop listening to the news and really had time to just reflect and 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 again i'm thanking mid-atlantic region of alpha cap alpha for having me i don't take any speaking engagement lightly i try to prepare and i try to say something to impart some knowledge but also do it in a way that you'll remember so all the women that have literally in the last two days quoted me back to me and laughed and we had a good time but we talked about health and wellness and mind body and soul and relationships and I gave some little sex tips you know cuz that's what I do too um, but um, so being very fatigued having a big week coming up just with the regular work we got I don't know if I travel this week I can't even think about my schedule but I it needed my face to breathe so women particularly in men if you wear makeup make sure you have one or two days if you can that you just let things breathe and let it out and don't use heat on your hair at that time and just um, take care of yourself I'm gonna take a long soaking bath when I get into my house I'm so glad to be back in Maryland after being on the highway and um, and after navigating traffic in North Carolina was absolutely beautiful hit Virginia that was beautiful hit Richmond that was the first accident and hit DC area and Vernestine is on and, and other people from DC know DC traffic is horrible so um, Oh, thank you, Latissa Brown. Much appreciated. And I was thanking you all at the beginning for all of the positive energy that I received this weekend from my talk and appearance at uh, Mid-Atlantic. But just let yourself breathe, relax, and come down off of a high. And, you know, your feet hurt because you've been wearing shoes and on concrete. So I take a long soaking bath and take time to just breathe. Don't turn on the TV. Turn on music. Um, listen to music. Music soothes the soul and speaks, I think, in a way that we often need to speak or just be silent. And for me, I'm catching up on things because I was out of town um, here. So now I talked about letting your skin breathe. I talked about my little lip mask. So if you see my lips are sticky is because I'm doing a lip mask to hydrate because nobody needs chapped lips. Even men, you all can use a lip mask. You know, you pay a little bit more money and it has a little tint. But if you use Vaseline, it's cheaper, does the same thing. But again, you need to moisturize and exfoliate your lips uh, as well as your skin. So letting your, letting whatever breathe. So now, now let's get to the subject of the matter, which Literally, at last count, there were over 150 questions, inboxes of whatever on something I talked about. Um, you look beautiful. Don't worry about people and get you some rest. I am getting some rest. Oh, thank you. Uh, who is this? Christopher Howe. Thank you. Um, uh, so this is what we need to know. Vitamins that I recommend. One. Hi, Onyx. What's up? You on me a phone call? Maybe I'll show up tomorrow night at your um, jazz event. Um, but one, a good multivitamin. 
I am not endorsing a brand, but I'm telling you what I use. Centrum products, I've actually been fortunate to see actually their new manufacturing plant. And Centrum products, I use Centrum for women. Uh, they have silver, they have different age groups, all that. And they have men. I have recommended um, Centrum performance for men uh, to men in my life and um, uh, and men just when I do men's talks and they have some great um, vitamin lines so or but there's also ultra mega men's and all that but Centrum for women ultra ultra mega GNC has an ultra mega women's vitamin that's fine but you look on the back and see what the ingredients are and you believe half of what they say they're going to do. That's for all, everything, for real. Remember that vitamins, nutrients, and supplements are not regulated. The reason I like Centrum and Nature Made is because they actually treat themselves like they are a pharmaceutical company. Hi, Corona Parker, my childhood friend and neighbor from Kannapolis. Uh, so Centrum. So Centrum multivitamin. I don't care if you're not 65. You can use Centrum Silver Women. Um, that gives you some extra calcium and vitamin D that goes to the next thing that you need to have supplement calcium and vitamin D as I said yesterday and say all the time to you guys vitamin D um, is the car by which calcium gets into the blood system and gets where it needs to be in your bones men you too need to look at your calcium and vitamin D um, most of us are vitamin D deficient. We don't have enough. Now that it's spring, we're going to be out in the sun a little bit more. Um, don't forget your sunscreen. Uh, and literally vitamin D must in your body, the way you take in vitamin D, you must, the sun actually converts and makes vitamin D. Uh, but because we're inside a lot, um, we are not doing that at the levels that we need to and our vitamin D levels go down. So, you need a multivitamin, you need calcium, and you need vitamin D baseline. For women and men that have skin issues, I don't care, um, men or women, if you have skin issues or you have nail issues or you have hair issues, I do recommend a great hair, skin, and nail vitamin. That has vitamin A, D, E, and K, and biotin traditionally in the vitamin. Okay, that is a good vitamin D. Again, helps with skin and it's not going to hurt you. So a good, oh, Delinda Rogers, a teacher from uh, Kannapolis is on. Hello. That is a good, hello, Mrs. Rogers. Uh, that is a good regimen. So, and again, I'm repeating so you get it. You get, use a good multivitamin, vitamin D and calcium. If you have hair, skin, or nail issues, uh, add a hair, skin, and nail vitamin, um, and that would be one that contains A, D, E, and K. Now, women that are still having their periods, and if you have heavy periods, or you have sickle cell trait, well, not really sickle cell trait because you can't overcome your iron deficiency in that regard, but if you have low iron um, or have had a chronic illness and have had chemo, radiation, or any of those things, and your iron stores are low, add an iron supplement. If you add an iron supplement, make sure that it's called something called slow fee or slow fe fe is the symbol for iron uh and so you add slow fee because iron can be constipating okay so you add something or you add more fiber i had told the women this weekend that i like FiberCon, um and i like um other things that are the little tablets which i'm tired so i can't remember that taste like uh pop tart taste like um candy tarts or whatever that are uh yeah i think it is fibercon that you take get the sugar fee version and just pop one in don't do too many you had a little diarrhea if you're taking iron so those are the basics now weight loss and all of that i always get hi elton happy belated birthday again i always get questions on should i do the b12 shots if i need energy of weight loss whatever let me tell you you can take a b complex vitamin but if you're taking a good multivitamin, you should have that covered. And if you're taking something for hair, skin, and nails, Fiber One, that's right. Thank you, Fiber One. Um, then that's a good fiber as well. 
um, then you should be covered. I don't like taking a lot of pills and a lot of stuff, right? But, and, and getting back to the premise, on all this, you need to eat five fresh fruits and vegetable servings each and every day. That's the basis for a good, healthy, nutritious life. We are supposed to get our vitamins, our minerals, and our supplements through our food. But many of us, including myself, often don't eat five fresh fruits and vegetables a day or enough protein because you do need protein to build your organs. Um, and certainly, hi Patrice Myrick, love you. Um, you, you definitely need um, good protein sources and all of that. Now, I am going to do a sidebar because there is data that's come out on eggs and I've told you all I um, do an egg and egg beaters every single morning. Uh, there's a new study that's eggs were bad for you, now they're good for you. Then they were good for you, now they may be bad for you. So my thing, everything in moderation. Uh, one egg, an egg beater is the protein that I need to hammer through the day without getting hungry. Um, and part of my whole attempt at weight loss and all that. Um, so maybe not so much cheese, because you do need dairy, by the way. Um, but just make sure, that, and I'm going to do a whole Facebook Live on just cholesterol and eggs and other meats and things. That The rule of thumb is if you see fat on a piece of beef, beef or whatever, cut it off, because that's cholesterol. So... I talked about the vitamins you need. People have asked me about energy drinks and all that. I actually am not a supporter of energy drinks because if you're taking your baseline vitamins, if you're eating right, and the biggest way that you get energy, which is what I'm going to do eventually, the biggest way, hi, Dr. Robin Peace, my med school classmate. I saw Dr. Millett this weekend, Robin. Um, so the biggest way that you get energy is number one, to sleep. Mm -hmm. Go to sleep. You need at least six hours of sleep a night. Uh, aim for your eight, six to seven hours. Um, but do that. And then the second way is to exercise. If you sit around all day and you nap and catnap and all of that, you're not going to have energy because you're not doing anything. And then you're not going to be able to sleep well because you're not tired. Okay? I'm good and tired today, so I know I'm going to knock out. But those are kind of the things. So we talked about the vitamins you need. Quick recap. And number one, that we don't think about it as a vitamin or a mineral or anything like that. But you need to think about it as a major supplement for your life. You can take all the hair, skin, and nail vitamins you want. If you are dehydrated, your skin is going to be flaky. You're going to have breakouts. Your organs are not going to be hydrated. You're going to hold on to weight and all that. And that is to drink water. Water, 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 water. You need to drink water. I'm not going to tell anybody to drink their body weight, whatever. Basically, if you do six eight-ounce bottles or uh, do eight ounces six times a day or more, you should be fine because you're going to get water and fruits and all of that. And then when I talk about five fruits and vegetables a day, uh, remember that one medium to large apple cut in half is two servings of fruit, so you can do it. And you need the fiber. We need the fiber to prevent colon cancer. We need the fiber to fill us up, maintain our weight, and all of that. So, a good multivitamin, I told you, I do recommend Centrum Performance, Centrum Woman, Centrum Men, but GNC is a good line. Uh, if it sounds too good to be true, it is. Okay? So, a good multivitamin, calcium, vitamin D, um, and then if you have hair, skin, or nail issues, do use a um, hair, skin, and nails vitamin, which typically will have vitamins A, D, E, and K in it, and some biotin. Um, and then you definitely, definitely, definitely need to drink your water, get it down, and you need to make sure that we stay away from uh, a lot of the sugary drinks and carbonated drinks and all of that. Um, the way to refresh and reboot and get ready for tomorrow, um, as I said, I've been traveling today and driving back after a busy weekend of presentations and events. And again, no makeup, skin lip mask on, no heat in my hair. And when I go through these doors right here, literally, that's my luggage still right here. I'm going upstairs to run a bath to get in and relax, catch up on some phone calls, listen to some music and recharge myself. This is Sunday afternoon. I am so glad to be back in the state, which I also love. I talk about North Carolina, which I love dearly. 
um, but I love Maryland, love being home, and um, certainly hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful Sunday afternoon. I just felt like it was pretty enough for me to sit out uh, on my front porch to breathe in and breathe out and to be grateful that, you know, as I talk about in Vernestine and I talked about, it, we said on here, the traffic in Maryland, you know, I can complain about the traffic in Maryland and Virginia and the accident that I saw, or I can also be grateful that I was allowed to travel four and a half hours each way back to Raleigh and back without having an accident, without having the blown out tire, without anything happening to me except for me being able to have my eyes open, be alert, and be able to get there, do the work that I did this weekend and reaching wonderful women that were absolutely invigorating and, and thank you all again for such the positive response all over my timeline stopping me in the hall we need it all right i i need to know you know i can tell me when i do good and when i do bad i'll take it but we need to know and i certainly have a life mission to empower both men and women to do it in my own way and hopefully break things down so we understand and we can make better health decisions. Today, again, I'm always talking about exercise. Now I'll be up early in the morning to exercise and all of that. Hi, Samantha. I saw my baby was at church today and I didn't get to see her. Um, but, um, you know, I can I talk about that. But today I don't need to exercise. I don't need to. I need to relax and I need to get in the tub and, and just um, get ready for tomorrow and then exercise tomorrow and get back at it. Uh, so take some time tonight to take a deep breath again. I could be upset about the traffic. And when I got to the DMV, there was a big sign up that said two crashes ahead. And I was like, dang, there's a crash. And then it, immediately I thought, thank God it's not me. I'm tired. I'm driving. I've been up and all that. It could be me. And so please take a minute to be grateful for your life, even though it's not perfect, even though stuff is going on, even though people are crazy, even though you may not feel appreciated, you may not feel loved, you may not whatever, be thankful. Because I really do believe this, and if you follow me, you know it. I believe it. If you're my friends, you know it. And you encourage me and remind me of my own words that get on my nerves when I'm trying to be pessimistic and my friends say, well, no, you say all the time that every moment above ground is a blessing. You say all the time that every breath in your body until your last beating heart, you, you have hope. I actually do believe it. I believe no matter what you face, no matter what's in front of you, no matter how big the obstacle, if you have been given the privilege of life, if you have a beating heart, if you are you can breathe on your own, you are in somewhat of your right mind, then there is hope. There is a better day. Tomorrow is even going to be more fantastic than yesterday. And if it's not, the next day will be. I believe that. I do. And I try to impart that everywhere I go. And so tonight, do me a favor, because this is what I'm going to do when I light some candles in my, bed, my bathroom. And get in the tub in a few minutes. The one thing that I'm going to do is to make sure that I have gratitude. I'm grateful about my friends. I'm grateful about all of the women that I spoke to this weekend and the positive response. I'm grateful, Patrice Myrick, for people like you that have a huge heart and courage beyond courage. For Vernestine, that's always always encouraging for onyx a friend of a long time for many of you that are on this feed be grateful and why not just text somebody and say i'm grateful for you sis i'm grateful for you dude i'm grateful tell your husband your significant other your mate somebody you want to be your mate i'm grateful for who we are and who i anticipate you're gonna be but um that's it for me Hopefully, if you didn't hear the vitamins that you need and how to recharge and refuel, just play this again. I'm trying to be good and be short. You all have a wonderful evening and look forward to a great, wonderful, blessed week. This is Dr. Sharon Allison Adia. Boom. I'm out. Hi, Debbie. Bye-bye.